let's look at this uh, question on two taps. Okay, so the question reads like this: If one tap, if one tap uh, fills a basin in one hour, and the second tap takes two hours, how long will it take uh, both of them to fill the basin? Now I have Google this image. So this is one tap. So this is a tap A. So let me call this tap A. And this is tap B. So what they're saying is, if only this tap is open, it takes one hour. And if only this tap is open, it takes two hours to fill this basin. Imagine this tape, uh, basin is quite big. So let us write that fact. So we can say tap, tap A takes one hour. OK, so that's the fact that is given. And tap B, so this is, uh, I'm trying to teach you one way of solving problems. Suppose when you have a problem, students tend to think of how to get the answer. That's the ultimate goal. But before you get the answer, you have to go through the process of writing what is given. So I will call this as given. This is given. OK. And what is that you want to find? You want to find, so write first to find. So this is the two, these are the two things that would you, you will have in any problem. So you, I want to find if tab A plus tab B, if tab A and tab B are open together, it will take how much time, okay? So or how much, how, how much time? Okay, it can be in hours or less than an hour. Now let's think logically. Now if tab A is opened, it takes one hour. And if tab B is open, it takes two hours. So the question is if tab A and B are open. So logically, uh, I think you can understand this time should be less than one hour. Should be less, whatever your answer is, is it should be less than one hour because you're using tab A and tab B. So because tab A itself, if it is open, it takes only one hour. So this answer, whatever your answer, should be less than one hour. So this is called an estimation of your answer. You should have a sense of what your answer should be. Okay, so now let us think like this. Okay, so I'm going to write like this. Tab A, suppose if tab A is open for one hour, Say in one hour, it fills how much of the tank? So you can say it fills the full tank. Fills, uh, you can say full tank. Full, uh, full basin, not tank, full basin. And say if full basin, so let us say that is one. Okay, the full basin is one. If tab B is opened, if tab B is open only for say one hour, how much does it fill? It fills half the basin. Okay, fills half the basin. Because in two hours it fills the full basin. So in one hour it fills half the basin. So I'll say that is half. So tab A fills one full basin and tab B fills half the basin. So we can say tab A plus tab B, tab A plus tab B, should in one hour would fill how much of the tank? Well, it fills one tank, the full tank, plus half the tank. So one plus half is one and a half tank. It fills one and a half tank in one hour if both of them are open. So let us extend this thought. So what we are saying is in one hour, okay, or one and a half tank, one and a half basin. I keep saying uh, tank. It is not tank. It is the basin. So one and a half basin. So now you can say, okay, well, one and a half basin, okay, of the contain uh, or the container takes one hour. So our question is, how long does it take to fill the whole basin? So. So this, can I write this is one hour is how many minutes? So this is, well, this is 60 minutes. And 60 minutes, if both taps are open, it fills one and a half tank. 
So, well, can you now answer half basin, if you fill half the basin, both the taps, it would take how much? So, you've got one and a half, so I want you to think like this, one and a half is half plus half plus half. One and a half, you, I think you can understand, is one and a half plus half plus half plus half is one and a half. So, can I write the 60 minutes? Let me write, use a different color. The 60 minutes, if you divide this into three equal lots, can you understand this is 20 minutes? 20 minutes plus 20 minutes plus 20 minutes. 20 minutes plus 20 minutes plus 20 minutes. Okay. So, now I want you to think logically. So, one and a half basin, it takes one hour, which is 60 minutes. And one and a half hour, I'm saying, is half, one half plus half plus half. So using proportion or using common sense, I can say, well, it takes half basin fills, you require 20 minutes. Half, you require 20 minutes to fill half the basin. So you can say the full, so the one basin or the full basin can be filled in if half a basin is filled in 20 minutes, the full basin, one means, one stands for the full. Full basin, you need 40 minutes. So this is how you can solve problems like this, where you have to think proportionally, okay? So one of the problems that students have is, they look at a question and they will, they don't know the answer. You don't, you can't get to the answer until you go through a thinking process.